Hi, my name is Lisa Russell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make toe thongs. The supplies that you will need for toe thongs are just a good quality craft glue, elastic cord, two beading na uh, needles. I use the long twisted beading nails uh, needles for mine, and I have dragonfly metal findings, and I also have seed beads. Um, and then I have square glass beads, crystals, and also a variety, a mixed color of good quality glass beads. And also I have my bead board to lay out my design. And as you can see, this is what we are going to make. We are going to make this beautiful toe thong. So what I normally do first is I lay out my design as you can see I have here. It's always nice to start out with your design laid out. And then what I would do is cut my elastic cord, which is roughly going to be about 25 inches for a size, I'm a size 8. So for a size 8 I need 24, 25 inches of elastic cord. So you would just cut your cord and I will show you how to measure your foot to get the right size cord because everyone's foot, you know, if you have a larger size you're going to need a little bit longer cord. This is the correct way to find out how much elastic cord that you need to make your toe thong. Just take it and wrap it around the toe next to your big toe, crisscross in the front and then come to the back. And that will give you, add on another two inches and then that will give you exactly how much elastic cord that you need for this project. Now that we have the amount of elastic cord that we need, we're ready to begin beading. You're going to start by taking your beaded needle and you're going to thread through, leave about an inch on the other side, and then we're going to start with our seed beads. You're going to start making the toe loop first. So the toe loop will require about 60 to 65 of the seed beads you can also measure by trying it on around your toe to make sure it's up far enough from your toe. If you do not like seed beads or any type of bead around your toe, you can just use the elastic cord. So then we will bead about three inches. Once you have three inches of beads, which I have right here, you're ready to make the toe loop. So then what we do is we will thread both threads through the needle. Okay, now that we have our seed beads for our foot loop, this is what it should look like now. We will take our first bead, bead it through, and as you can see, that will form your loop for your toe. And then from there, you will just simply bead the middle part. Um, depending on your foot size, again, will depend on exactly how many beads that you will need for this design. I chose bigger beads just so that we could go through this a little quickly or faster and show you exactly how this is done. Okay, and you just keep beading through. Until you have the middle section complete. Now that you've beaded your middle section, we are now ready to separate the cords and put a needle on each end and then just continue beading your side design that we have laid out and then when you're finished we'll be ready to put two or three knots in it and then seal it with some good craft glue and then you have your first toe thong so now this is what your toe thong should look like